Tomorrow, parts of the U.S. will be treated to the rare ring, ring, ring of fire solar eclipse when the moon is going to line up between the Earth and sun and blocking out some of that sunlight. Joining us to talk more about this annular eclipse is Jessica Callas, the Heliophysics Senior Support Project Specialist at NASA. And Jessica, we thank you for joining us. I have to tell you, back in May of 2012, my wife and I went to New Mexico to watch and photograph the annular eclipse that took place then. And it's going to be in roughly the same part of the country again this time isn't it absolutely it is all right now uh tell us the unique positioning of the moon versus the earth and sun and why this is not a total eclipse of the sun i've seen a lot of misreporting about how this is going to look and it all has to do with the distance between the earth and the moon doesn't it it does absolutely so during an annular eclipse this is where viewers can witness a stunning event where the moon partially covers sun, which leaves a ring of fire or a visible sunlight around the moon. So, and I believe where you are, you're going to get a partial eclipse. So right. it'll look like Pac-Man or a cookie, like the moon is eating the sun. Yes, we'll get, I think, about a 43% coverage here, Jessica. Um, what about how to safely view this? Uh, one of the things we may be fighting here in Chicago is a total eclipse due to cloud cover, but there might be some breaks. This is not the sort of thing that you can look at with the naked eye because your eyes are just going to tell you, ooh, that's really bright, but uh, we really don't want to you know, train a telescope or binoculars at this thing because you can do damage to your eyes. How can we safely view the eclipse here in Chicago? Absolutely. Definitely want to emphasize to never look at the sun directly at any time of the day, even during a normal day. So make sure that you're using solar uh, filter glasses or you can use a pinhole projector, which we can definitely show you how to make very quickly. All right. I'm, I'm putting you to it. Grab, grab yourself a pen and some paper and show uh, folks how easy it is to really create this pinhole camera. Absolutely. So you, all you need is an index or a piece of paper and something like a safety pin or a little pin that we have here and you poke it through and then you are going to line your shadow up with the moon so you'll get your shadow and then you'll line this up just directly at the 45 degree angle and point it towards the ground and you'll be able to see on the ground or another piece of paper as the moon and the sun come together and it looks like the moon's eating the sun. I liked your description. It is almost like, you know, Pac-Man going, uh, you know, across the game there. Now, um, in uh, April of next year, we do get a total eclipse and I'm sure that folks are really excited about that one, aren't they? They are. That one's a big one. So if you can remember in 2017, we had a big total solar eclipse. So this means it goes to completely dark for a couple of two to three minutes, depending on where you are. That is a great image of the total solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. So this one gives a phenomenon experience, which you can see. So this one, we only get the ring of fire, which is a crazy phenomenon to witness and very rare to witness. So the next ones will be in 2040. Well, get out and enjoy it. Hopefully here we'll see something tomorrow, Jessica. Uh, but I definitely recommend folks use that pinhole projection method. It's a safe way of looking at it. It's kind of cool. I've also heard maybe take a colander and let that cast, you know, about 100 little suns on the ground. That's another way of doing it. But uh, Yes, and that's right here in your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jessica Kayas with NASA. We appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Let's check back in with you next April before that total eclipse. I've already booked my room in downstate Illinois. I'm ready to watch that thing. So. Uh, fingers well, crossed for good weather. Uh, and uh, we will hope for some sunshine tomorrow. There is a chance of rainfall, and we'll be talking more about that in our full forecast here in just a little bit. More of Good Day coming up right after this Johnny Cash hit. <laughs> and the flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns.